All right, what happens when we go from being one of the cheapest supermarkets to one of the most expensive supermarkets? Stick around and find out. All right, we're back in Supermarket Simulator and I am gonna be doing another video where we change prices, but it's gonna get crazy. <laughs> you could see right now that everything in my store, I will start walking around, um, is literally $50. I don't think not much interesting is going to happen. I think a lot of people are gonna walk in, see the prices and be like nope i'm back i'm out of here i'm gonna go to that farmer's pantry down the store although we're we're the only supermarket in town um but yeah we're, we're gonna see exactly how much money we have now my shelves are very bare <sighs> i ordered a bunch of stuff i saw all these boxes and i felt like uh i don't feel like putting all the stuff away right now i don't want to have hundreds of products and then i and then I'm spending hours and hours of just going around and changing the prices. So, uh, because this video is going to get crazy. We're going to do, we'll see how this night goes, but we're going to be probably doing like $50 tonight. And then the next night, we're going to upscale it by so much. Oh my. Oh, oh, oh. That's because that's the wrong price. Um, but then um, we're going to upscale it all the way up to a thousand dollars oh what okay i lied i guess not everything is fifty dollars i made a mistake and the stuff was not priced all the wrong so we're gonna be selling a couple items not at the fifty dollars oopsies i lied sorry oh i've been exposed bam exposed i'm canceled <laughs> all right so obviously she's got a couple things but those are not even close to the fifty dollars so far we have yet to have one person buy an item for fifty dollars hey I don't blame you guys. You know, I'm kind of crazy for charging these kind of prices, but you know, I I'm trying to do an experiment here, people. So, uh, okay, we made a little bit of money there, but that doesn't count. So that one order does not count. We are going to not count that one because it, is wait, what? Hold on, wait, what? Okay, 23. Okay, no, this is the lady that, um, okay, Let's see. Everyone is coming in. Everything is too expensive. I can't pay for this. Sorry, people. Oh, 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 oh. I should have checked my prices before hitting record. I really should have. But it looks like I forgot a couple things. I did get, like, all these items, right? Oh, no, 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 no. That's $50. I forgot. There was a few items I did restock, like, before I started the video. And so those are actually ones I actually forgot to check. But otherwise, everything else should be good. We should have the price of fifty dollars on everything else okay yeah you're getting stuff a little bit cheaper sorry man but uh 96 dollars no dang it dang it um hold on back how do i uh oh remove remove dang it i was gonna try to take money away from her but i can't dang it 13 dollars i'm gonna test this nope doesn't work all right 1240 this is all the money we are gonna make but it doesn't even count because it's not even on the 50 dollars prices wait 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 did that 9 30 9 30 what did the dude buy that was 9 30 what did i forget to price something again i wouldn't be surprised you know i'm very sloppy when it comes to, to these videos not not making sure everything is good before i hit record i'm a bad youtuber Man, I've been exposed. It's time to cancel me. Um, all right. Now, I think everything else is good. I think it's just those items re restocked right at the last minute before I opened, and I forgot to uh, check those prices. Um, okay, yeah. All right. We'll see if people are crazy enough to buy anything. I mean, we made a little bit of money. Here's the thing, right? But again, we're not even counting those purchases because nobody is buying stuff so we might change this up a little bit but we're still going to do the ultimate thousand um but i don't think i'm going to do every item's going to be at a thousand i think i'm going to select like different items to be thousand dollars um but i want to test something the next night the next night is i want i want to go down about twenty dollars i want to price everything at thirty dollars and then see um or majority of the stuff maybe change maybe mix oh actually no instead of setting one price we'll uh we'll change things up maybe Maybe we'll do select prices because um, my plan going into the video was just to price everything the same but with this first night the experience the experience we have I think we're gonna mix prices in I'm gonna mix in some $20 prices I'm gonna mix in some 30s I'm gonna mix some hundreds 50s and then we'll do a couple items at a thousand and we'll see how that does you know I, I do still think you know we'll, we'll still get sales on like things like if we you know mark sushi at $30 or if we mark you know like maybe 
maybe toilet paper, maybe, well, maybe $20 would be a little high. Maybe chicken would buy 20 So I think there will be some stuff that we will be able to sell at that $20 price, um, along with, you know, if we obviously mix other stuff up. Because, yeah, because otherwise, if, if I was to price every single item the exact same price, this video is going to be very boring. It's going to be a very short video, and it's like, my editor is going to have a five-minute job to do. Like, so we'll, we'll mix things up. We'll, um, we'll mix the prices in the next night. So nobody here will close everything. You guys aren't going to buy anything? Then get out of my store. Get out of my store if you ain't going to bring me any business. I get it. The prices are very expensive. I don't blame it. Wait. Hey, yo, dude. Did you just come in my store when my sign was closed? Hey. I don't think so. It looked like that guy came right into my store. Oh, he doesn't see me. I'm going to sneak in the store. What? Everything's $50. Yeah, it's closed. I'm the most expensive supermarket right now. I'm sorry. Inflation was bad. You know, everything I'm is being ordered at a premium, so I need to be making some sort of profit. You know, this toilet, this thing of toilet paper right here cost me forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents to buy, and this this piece of this uh, just one of these chickens cost me forty nine ninety nine. So I'm making a penny off of this. <laughs> Imagine if you, if a store paid fifty dollars for chicken. Yeah, right. You know, if, if I was running a store in today's world with the prices of some stuff, I almost would probably make sacrifice prices on really just buying stuff because it's like people aren't gonna buy all right let's go we had a little bit of money but that doesn't matter we're not worried about that oh we lost seven thousand dollars oh yeah because i ordered seven thousand dollars worth of stuff all right we didn't make any money all right i'm gonna do some price swapping around and i'll see you in a bit bam all right so i've gone around i've changed some prices uh this shelf this shelf and i believe majority of this shelf is all the fifty dollars i have adjusted this down to twenty dollars. The fifty, you know, I left that fifty, made that thirty, and bleach is now a thousand dollars. It cost me so much money to order. We're charging. This. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Look how small those numbers are. I've never seen something in a grocery store that's as simple as like bleach that you walk in and you see something that's so big. That's such a big number. But hey, you know, we spent so much on bleach. We have to make our money's worth. All right, let's open the store. I think today's gonna be a little bit better, right? There's still gonna be some stuff that people are gonna be like, eh, 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 you know, and not buy. But I think there still will be those crazy people who will be like, oh, pizza. Pizza, I need pizza. I'll pay fifty dollars for pizza, even though it's all my savings. I need pizza. Chicken's too expensive. No, it's not. It's the best chicken in the world. I raise the chickens myself. I feed the chickens. I grow the chickens. Wait, grow what? What? I don't grow the chickens. And I I butcher the chickens myself. So they're man-made. What? A man-made? Yes, I'm very talented. I made chickens. That's why they're fifty dollars or twenty dollars because they're man-made. I make the chickens with my two hands. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's try to tease them. Let's see if we can get them to me buy this at $10. Yeah. Be crazy enough to buy this stuff at $10? Come on. There's gotta be some... Wait, 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 wait. What did she just buy? I'm about to find out what she just bought. She bought something that I think was like $30 or something. Come on. Come on, people. Wait, he's got something in his bag. What did you buy, dude? <gasps> people are actually buying stuff. This might actually work a little bit because then people will see certain prices are different. They'll go somewhere else, maybe see something else a little bit cheaper and, and go for it. Okay. How much did you... Oh, he bought these. They're $20 each. 60 bucks. Let's go. How much money are we making profit? It's almost $10 profit, man. We're making so much money, man. Yeah. Jam on it. Jam, jam. Yeah, so we've we've officially have gotten one purchase so far today, and it has made us like, uh, what was that? Like, twenty, almost thirty bucks profit. Wait, something else uh, was bought too. People are actually buying stuff. Let's go! I'm getting rich. I'm getting rich in here. I don't know where I was gonna go with that. Um, what did you buy, dude? He bought sushi for thirty bucks. Okay. So $30 might be a good price to actually sell that that uh, sushi because I'm getting how much for it? $12 when people buy it. Okay. Um, I'm trying to find sushi in here, but I can't find sushi because I want the big sushi. That's the beer. Cola. I know there was something in here. Yeah, right there. Fill you up. I'm going to fill you up. All right. Put this back on the shelf 
And uh, my leg itches really bad right now. I gotta itch it. Ah, okay. Uh, where is this sushi? Get me sushi. Where are you at sushi, sushi? Sushi, sushi. Ah, ah, jeez. Watch where you're going, taxi driver. I'm trying to do work here and you're driving down my street. I own this street. And now you're getting a ticket. You better watch your back, boy. I'm gonna give you a ticket. And I'll charge you for... 10 million dollars for running into the owner of the most expensive supermarket here dude <laughs> i have it out for him i'm gonna go get him I'm, I'm gonna sneak in his house and he's gonna be sleeping and i'm gonna be looking over his shoulder being <laughs> that's very freaky i'm not gonna do that that's just freaky um i haven't heard a little ding in a while so i don't think we've had very much success in a little bit with stuff but maybe things will get just a little bit better um, okay. Um, there we go. There might be some stuff that I'm... Did I put some stuff that I wasn't... Sp oh, 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 wait. Oh, never mind. I'm trying to keep stuff that I know I already have on the shelves that are priced um, on the shelves and then put the, the items that are not priced on there because... Or leaving them off the shelf because otherwise they're going to get filled on the shelves and I don't want... I don't uh, want... Uh, you know, stuff that is that normal price getting sold out. So we'll just leave everything that I do have. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, I ordered more stuff than I needed. Okay, this stuff, if I put on the shelves, I'm going to price it at the same... Oh, no. Okay. Wait. There are actually people still buying stuff? Really? Okay. Toilet paper. You were crazy, ma'am, to buy toilet paper $20. But you know what? Maybe... Maybe that works out. Um, how little... Huh. Maybe you can't shortchange anymore. I'll, I'll have to try. I'll try. Um, oh, you're paying my card. $30. Thank you. I mean, we're making all this profit, so we're not getting a lot of sales. But when we do, we're making a decent amount in profit. All right, get out of there. Uh, let's see, anything that is actually, like, almost gone that we're selling? We haven't sold a chicken yet, which is fine, because chicken... This chicken's very special. It's got man-made hands on it. It's not the right phrase to use, but you know what? Whatever. I i don't care. I made the chickens myself. How do I do that? Magic. I'm a magician. Put that cheese down there, because I know that is almost gone. All right. I think we're almost done. And then um, we're going to go in. I'm going to adjust prices a little bit more. We're going to maybe add a few more items in the higher range. And then, then I think I will go... Uh, and we'll mix things up again into this next night and I'm gonna start stocking other stuff and I'm not gonna mess with those prices. I will leave those prices alone and leave these other prices that I have had alone. And uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll find one more item to charge like $1,000 for, like these. We're gonna charge $1,000 for them. Boom, okay. Cause we already know people aren't gonna pay $30 for them. I've been selling them at $30 for the longest time and I'm not getting anybody. Um, but we just made another 90 bucks. My goodness, yes. <laughs> this is kinda cool. Oh, this is so cool. All right, um, I, I don't know. I don't know how this next night's gonna go. Wait, what, what, wait, what? I don't know if that's right or not, but you know what, whatever. Um, nope, wrong thing. Get that out of there. Do we have everybody out of the store? We do. Oops. Okay, let's start. How much money did we make? We made $430. And we had how many? Total. We had a total of 61 customers. And we made $431. But, you know, we had, we had zero satisfied customers. We didn't make a single person happy with the store. We just lost so many new potential uh, customers. Okay. So let's... let's do some stocking in here. So I'm gonna go add some stuff to the thing. Nope, I can't stock that up. So I'll just throw that up there. Okay, go through. What else can I stock? Can stock some more of this on the shelves. Let's go put it on the shelf. Do a little stock before I do more stuff. So this video kind of changed on the way just because of that, that first night I saw. It was originally gonna be, I was gonna price everything, but also that pricing every single item differently every single day would take so long because i think just coming in the video pricing everything at 50 dollars took forever like because i got over 100 items so that takes you know probably 10 minutes 
to probably do and and whatever uh i'm just gonna throw some extra stuff on here because i have too much stuff all right red flower so now this is something that we're gonna leave alone we're gonna leave it priced at what it is priced at actually i might i might actually adjust a little bit more because what, what is it priced right now seven dollars you know what? let's make it ten dollars i make it six dollars profit if anyone buys it, it's ten dollars for flour all right uh we'll stock this puppy down there all right and throw this item uh, up there okay and move this guy there and let's go stock this up on the shelves yeah we got an empty spot right here clean up the shelves just make our store look a little bit better even though our prices are you know at a premium but hey, we have the we have that good stuff. You know, we don't have this we don't have all that stuff that has that, you know, bad stuff that people add, you know, oh they have this in it, you know, to make this last longer, or you know, we're not companies who put, you know, ingredients that are in paint. Cause yes, I have heard of things like them putting paint thinner or stuff that you use that's in paint thinner into like cereals to make them last longer. We got the good stuff. It's all organic. I make the chickens by hand, I make the beef by hand, I make the turkey by hand. I don't have any turkey, so I don't know where that came from. Um, the sugar comes from me milking my very own cows that I have on my farm, which no one knows about because I have a kind of farm that people probably shouldn't see me on. That sounds bad. It's not a drug farm. No, people. It's a farm that has... Okay, I'll tell you. My farm has pink cows. Yeah, it's very weird. So anyway, I sell their milk. So it's special milk. It's not just that normal milk, it's pink milk. Not pink milk, but I, I turn it white just to not make it look weird. You got pink cows, man. That's what I got, I pink cows. All right, let me go through and let's add some orange juice on the shelf. Uh, boom, and we'll do this, boom. And let's see, oh. Add you up there, boom, and see. Um, okay, let's start this next day. We got a few more things on my shelf. I don't really care about putting the rest. I'll, I'll find stuff as I go. I'm looking for the red cheese bags. Bags of red cheese. Where is that? I'll put this orange juice back on the shelf so it's more on that way. Where are you? That's bread. I don't want you. You? Eh, throw you on there anyway. Come on, where are you, red, red bag of cheese? Where are you? Where are you, red potatoes? Oh, I will put the potatoes on there. Skull potatoes. I believe they're skull potatoes. They look like skull potatoes. That's what they look like. Um, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. If you guys are also new to the channel, um, and you guys are liking this video, um, make sure you guys, uh, think about hitting that subscribe button. You know, you can always make it mine anyway, and... I'm on my way to trying to get to 2,000 subs by the end of the year, and so anyone who, you know, subscribes and sticks around to the channel would, uh, it would really, I would really appreciate it. My mind is all over the place. I cannot focus. Get out of here. Get out of here. There you go. Um, all right. Uh, I haven't. That's blue cheese. Where is the red bags of cheese that I'm trying to look for? Like, I'm, I'm seriously trying to find them. I just can't. I just can't find them. No, that's... Did I not order it? Like, I feel like I, like, didn't order it. I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't order the items. Because I tend to always never never be able to find those items. And... Put that there. Let's see. What did you get? Oh, you bought one of these? 20 bucks. All right, $20, there you go, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm gonna be the most profitable supermarket in the city because I'm the only supermarket in here. All right, hand soap goes right there. That's another item that still is at that $50 price tag. Here's a red bag of cheese. Okay, all right. And we're actually going to price these at that $10 too. Uh, doo -doo -doo. But also guys, um, Please do think about subscribing because I have another very cool video idea for this game coming out actually very soon. Um, you know, it's another one of these type of uh, type of videos that are kind of like what I'm doing, but it's not going to have anything to do with price. Instead, it's actually going to be if an item has a certain something in it, I sell it, right? So if that sounds interesting, you know, consider, you know, like I said, subscribing and 
and make make sure to also hit that bell icon so that when I do release it, you will uh, get notified of it. Because I, I have a lot of good ideas for this this game, and I want you guys to make sure you guys can stick around and be around for when it happens. So that there. Oh, I really want this game to update. I am tired of having to go and stock everything on the shelves it takes so long and i already have too much pizzas right now i'm gonna have to do a hot sale on pizzas i really am because i just don't have any room for them okay three dollars that's all you're paying for it's three dollars for own shoes really i mean i didn't even mean i didn't even mean adjust that i left thing left that as the same price but whatever oh that's another item i'm a very bad manager i really am i cannot keep track of my inventory because I will end up ordering more stuff than I need and then, then I have more stuff lying around than I already do. And I already still have, you know, hundreds of other toilet papers still lying around anyway. I'm still working through, so... Ugh, nine dollars. And, uh... Yes, thank you. <laughs> Did I? Wait. Oh, I might have actually gave her more money, didn't I? Because I just realized it was green, wasn't it? <gasps> I gave her too much money. No! Ugh. Man, I've never actually been able to get my account obviously above that 20,000, but also I've been doing a lot of things where I price things at different prices or I'm giving money away to people. So uh, hopefully we can, you know, maybe step away from doing these price type ideas and maybe go more uh, different unique ideas without having to deal with prices. So maybe I can get to that 20,000 price tag because... Right now, I am not able to get to a price where I can even just unlock the next license. Because I've all I've got is 5000 It's kind of sad that I've got, you know, all these items. And yet, all I have to show for it is $5,000. You know? <laughs> if people come, you know, and see this video and see that I don't have a lot of money, people won't know. How do you only have that much money in this game? Well, I used to have a lot of money, but I give away a lot of the money now. Or... I just price stuff where I don't make very much money. But when I do, it's very good profit. All right, let's go. What did you buy? Ooh, one thing of toilet paper for 20 bucks, right? Okay. Yes, I'm gonna take an extra buck, please. This this is thief. <laughs> he, he got mad, I stole a dollar from him. Oh, I don't blame you. My prices are high and now I just stole a dollar from you. I am a mean store owner, man. I'm trying to take everybody's uh, Every dollar that they make just to buy one item in the store and and then I take an extra dollar from them for tip like oh I am so mean I deserve to uh, have this place go bankrupt I just can't afford I, I just I uh, I just can't afford this place with the way that I'm uh, doing things you know I, I have to actually run this place proper so let's just start stealing more money from people no I'm kidding I'm kidding. Maybe, you know what, you guys, if you guys would like to see this as a video, hit that like button if you guys think you guys would like to see a video where the only way I can make money off of, um, the only way I can make money in this store is by stealing money from customers. Meaning, um, I'm gonna price items at the value of what I pay for it. So I'm making absolutely no profit off of it. And, you know, with people who pay cash, I kind of take a little bit of money as a tip. If you guys would like to see that, let me know. Hit that like button. Comment down below. Um, if this video maybe gets to... Um, eh. If this video gets to 10 likes, I'll do it. Because I think that's a cool another idea. And if you guys want to see that, you know, I will do it. If you guys want to see it. Also, give me some other ideas. You know, if you guys haven't played this game, then, you know, you don't, you know, you don't have to worry about it. Because obviously... You, you know, you may not know much about it, but maybe if you guys have played this game and you guys want to see me do something, let me know down in the comments below and I'll try it. I have some few other ideas, you know, that I will be doing, but that's, you know, as time goes on. Because I, I am trying to get s some more of these videos done, but with the time I put into these videos, I don't want to go and have four of these videos and then those are all my next uploads. Um, because also, real time here, I don't have a video out for this. Maybe I will be putting a video but you'll see. If this video is out and there is no like sort of update video, then obviously I decided I wasn't going to do it. But 
Uploads were kind of slow the last few weeks, and the reason for that is I'm currently in the process of getting a home, which I did get, by the way. So now I'm in the whole process of paying for it um, and, you know, and getting everything taken care of. Um, and so I was kind of dealing with all that instead of uploading, but I am going to be back into, you know, grinding into content. So you guys will be seeing more content on this channel and uh, in most cases and also along with that before i continue on what i was saying the uploads is going to be there's actually going to be a set schedule this time instead of me just uploading like every few days because i know the schedule was consistent but it wasn't exactly that consistent so going forward i'm going to be uploading every sunday tuesday and thursday so now if you guys are in a different country that's different for you guys i don't know what that is for you guys but um, the time wise, it may jump around as I'm trying things out, but I'd like to, you know, find a good time to upload on those three days and then leave it. And that's, then I will upload the same time on all three of those days. So for the first maybe week or so, I may be uploading, you know, on those three days in the morning, maybe I'll do an afternoon and maybe I'll do, you know, at night and see what my performance is between those three different times. And if I see that maybe uploading in the morning doesn't do as well as uploading in the afternoon, then I will upload my videos on the afternoon, but I'm gonna kind of be testing things. Um, so yeah, that's also, I wanted to let you guys know on that because that's also been something going on. But back to what I was saying about the house. Um, and so once I'm officially in the house, I will actually have a, uh, a official YouTube setup and I may, once I'm actually set up, I may actually do a video of me kind of doing a YouTube office like um, thinking about or what do they call it, uh, tour. If you guys would like to see that too, you guys can let me know. But obviously by the time this video is out, I don't think I will be in the house, but guaranteed by probably by, I mean, by the time probably the next video comes out i then will probably be likely in the the house basically you you guys will see a, a channel a video on my channel saying that i you know i'm officially in my new house or whatever so if that video is not out then i haven't been moved into my new house yet but anyway enough of me blah 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 on i didn't want to you know bore you guys too much with that but i just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of that update before i end the video here uh, maybe i'll make a little update video talking more in depth about it because i had other things going on too but Anyway, if you guys like this video, let me know down in the comments below. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys later.